Let's talk about this new Photoshop feature called Harmonize. So this is a feature that just dropped in Adobe Photoshop beta. It basically allows you to blend any image into any background with a single click. Now, before we get into it, let me start by saying I have not been overly impressed by Adobe's AI features. I feel like generative fill has been very hit or miss for me at least. Adobe Firefly is also good for some things, not so great for others. But I truly believe this Harmonize feature, while it's far from perfect, has the potential to change the game for Photoshop users. And there's two reasons why I think this. One, Harmonize is going to drastically cut down the time it takes to blend an image into a background effectively. And two, which I'm most excited about, is that it unlocks new possibilities for composites because it can completely change lighting conditions. So let's jump into Photoshop. I've got this cutout from a recent Union game I shot. You can see very harsh lighting, harsh shadows right under the hat there and on the neck. And I've got this background, very simple Adobe free stock background. Just just kind of stadium lights with some fog in the background. Obviously, these two images do not match at all. This was taken in direct sunlight. The lighting is completely different from this dark, moody blue fog background we got going on. So because I'm in Adobe Photoshop beta, I have this harmonize feature. And beta, by the way, you can download through Creative Cloud. If you go to your Creative Cloud app, go to apps, and you can sort by beta. You should see Photoshop beta, so this is separate from the normal Photoshop app you use. This is where they can test things and eventually, hopefully, this feature makes it into the full version of Photoshop. So we've got Harmonize. I'm gonna go ahead and click it. And similarly to Generative Fill, you have this generating bar that will load. So it finished generating. We've got three images. You can see this first one. Obviously, it changed the color, changed some of the lighting, but you've still kind of got this like harsh shadow and the light in this example is kind of it's a little bit lower. It's not like coming from directly overhead, so that doesn't really make sense to me. Tried this middle one, tried something else. You can see it's just adjusting the colors and lighting for each of these. This third one, I think, is going to be our best bet. And now, obviously, the colors and lighting are far from perfect. This is not a perfect feature by any means, but for one click, going from this to this, like before Harmonize, I would not even attempt to try to blend this cutout into this background just because the lighting is too different. You know, like erasing this shadow completely just wouldn't be worth my time or effort. Same thing with the next shadow, but Harmonize does a really good job. And if you zoom way in, you'll see like it's not perfect. There are some hints of like where the shadow lines were, even like below the eye. But for things like social media graphics, you probably won't even know the difference, and especially if we overlay finishing effects on at the end of this design. Now the work is far from over. We're not just gonna be done here and build out the rest of the poster composition. We have to do some better blending on this, but because of the lighting conditions, it's gonna be a lot easier than had we just started with this and tried to get this thing to look right with this background. So we start here. I'm gonna group this into its own folder and put a mask that is exactly the mask of the cutout by holding command and clicking on our cutout layer because without that mask, the mask that it puts on the generation has like some extra pixels like around the hair you can see. So if we're just making adjustments to the cutout, we, we need that mask on there. So now whatever we put in this folder is only gonna affect our guy. So I'm gonna start with an exposure layer and just darken the entire cutout and bring the exposure down. This will kind of match this moodier, darker background a little bit better. And then on this white mask, we can brush in black with our foreground color set to black, basically hiding parts of this exposure layer that we don't want affecting. So any parts we want a little brighter. Basically, I'm just gonna brighten this side of his body and face a little bit and probably hat, and you can kind of click softly to get some more brightness there. This is already looking a lot better to me than what Harmonize initially did, which a reminder was this. So now we have this more darkened version. We can also add a curves layer and kind of manipulate the contrast a bit by creating an S curve. And this is all gonna be like personal preference and just the way that you like to blend your images. So I'm still just seeing like some more darkness that I want and I think we can get more of like a, a pop of light on the hat. So this curves layer, just kind of darkening it further but also bringing out some contrast. We can boost the whites a little bit. And I think color wise, we can drop on a hue and saturation layer and just desaturate the whole thing slightly and maybe I think I want the jersey to try to match the color of this background. So something around there. I think with the blues specifically, you can play with the saturation, maybe darken it. Another thing we can do is add an inner shadow to this whole cutout layer. So if you go to your effects, 
Go to inner shadow. This is a kind of a shortcut to making like a, a rim glow, rim light on the outside edge. You crank up this opacity. We've got overlay with a white color and you can change the size just depending on the strength of the effect that you're looking for. You wanna make sure the direction, the angle matches the angle of the lighting. So I feel like something around 35 makes sense. This can be as extreme or soft as you'd like, but I think something like this, you can see the before and after. Now, if we wanted to stop here, you could see the difference before and after of what the Harmonize did and what our additional effects did. Now, again, this would have taken so much longer to actually manually like take away the shadows in the different parts and make it a more realistic blending for our initial cutout, but Harmonize cut out a ton of that stuff. It made it possible that we could use this cutout and with just a few lighting effects, we have it looking a lot better. And really what I'm starting to think of Harmonize as, is while it's not a perfect like one click solution to blending anything into any background, it's a tool like anything else in Photoshop. Now when using this effect and like compositing any image, I would recommend adding some finishing effects on top of everything, at least some grain, just to put like the same type of filter over both the the subject and the background, make them feel like they're in the same image. So let's make a new layer, Command Option Shift E to apply this image to its own layer. We'll go up to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. And then if you go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, we can just add a little bit of that, 4.8%. Looks pretty good to me. So now everything's got the same amount of noise on it. We can also just do some master adjustments like curves layers. Once we have everything blended, you can kind of play with this as needed. If you wanted to brighten the whole thing up, do as you please. You can also add some different color effects like a color lookup on this and just see what these different concepts look like. I think maybe candlelight cube could look interesting. Kind of wash out colors a bit more. And so we'll stop here for the day. Again, Harmonize, awesome feature, lots of potential. It's not perfect. In my experience, I've been using it for a few days now, it has yet to really nail both the lighting and color. But if you view this feature as a tool, it's really gonna be a huge time saver. I highly recommend it. It's going to change the game. Cuts down on your composite blending time significantly. And as we saw with this example, you can take one lighting condition and make it completely different to fit into any background. Try it out for yourself. Let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thank you for watching.